pen flame. I burned my way out of the eggshell, so they named me Flame. I was just like them, a small ball of gray fluff. I nourished under their feathers, just like inside my yolk. As I grew, their concern grew too. My middle web curled under the others. How would I ever migrate? This faded as more worries became evident. My legs did not stop at two inches or two feet or four feet. Soon I towered above the whole flock. Obviously I could never be a mother. How would I protect my young? I could not stay warm in our ice home. My brothers would stand on my parents' heads and form a tuxedo tower to shelter my legs from the wind and storms. They couldn't stop the laughter and I couldn't stop wondering what was so funny about freezing to death. When they slept, their beaks curled under their wings. I watched and tried to learn, never successful. One day I threw my long neck back in exasperation of my fate and felt the first moment of relief since my days in the shell. My head rested on my spine. Sleep found me in that position only. The laughter of the penguins turned to anguished tears from my family. No more believing I could live in this home. I dreamt of warm ponds and pink shrimp and one day I started running. I crossed the oceans and plains and then flew over the rockiest mountains until I felt the sun. The warmth pushed me down to earth or maybe the fatigue. I found silver fish to eat like at home. They filled my belly with longing. I met a slimy green frog who showed me the flamboyance nearby. But I stayed with the amphibians, trying to learn to breathe through my skin.